Here we are in beautiful Atlantic City. Not just to enjoy the view, but for a little toy series I like to call Dun 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 Shark Week. End. Kicking off Shark Weekend, we have the robots in disguise, Skybite, which is a basic recolor of the Transmittal 2 Cyber Shark. Now this guy, I absolutely love the paint scheme on him, as opposed to the original Transmetal 2 version of Cyber Shark. We have the blue pretty much blended pretty well into the white and into the silver gray. And a lot of the mechanical detailing on the shark body is nice and detailed out. You have a nice pink there inside the jaw. And a beautiful asymmetrical design. And here we have Skybite in his asymmetrical robot mode. I absolutely love the coloring from head to toe. You see he has at least two weapons on his right arm. He has a gun that has two missiles and his right arm with a rotating claw which is activated by a small wheel on his elbow. And here we have a little close-up. You can see the Predacon spark crystal here on his chest. And more close-up look at his face. You have any poetry or a good little sonnet for a sky bite? That's very deep, man. I really like the sky bite figure, as both as a figure and as a character. Outside of Robots in Disguise, Skybite has also been depicted in the IDW comics and in the more recent Cyberverse show and toy line. If you want to get one of your own, you can check out the online retailers, eBay, or wherever you like to buy vintage toys. Now here we are poolside with another shark figure. Here we have McFarlane, a cybernetic shark, Frenzy. Now he comes from a little small line of PVC figures called Raw 10. See? Frenzy here has an articulated mouth that opens and shuts. And his abdomen and tail, both move back and forth. 